I've got a mess on this wall and I want to turn it into this. Alright, so any project begins with cleanup. At least it does in my shop. But the idea here is I want to take this wall I want to build in cabinets. Those cabinets have a place in the middle for my miter saw. Right next to it, I want to install the radial arm saw so they can share a fence all the way across. I got all this plywood from a friend who was moving out of a shop and I made plans and broke it into phases and this is phase one. Got my cut list done and printed used my homemade track saw and started breaking down plywood. A lot of plywood. As I broke it down, I wrote on each piece what it was going to be even before I ripped it. Here's my basic cabinet design that I'm going to use here. I've got two sides with the toe kicks cut out of both sides. I've got four stretchers. One goes on the top of the front and that goes flat and it will screw into the countertop once it's put on. There's two in the back, and the two stretchers in the back go vertically, and they'll be attached to the wall once they're in place and leveled. Then there's one more in the front at the bottom where the toe kick is, and those four stretchers connected to the sides will hold that the whole thing stable and square. I'm just gonna use pocket holes because once they're all attached to each other and to the wall and to the countertop, I think it'll be just fine. Once I had them all cut, I got out the handy pocket hole jig. And for about the next year and a half, I think, I drilled pocket holes. I measured out a corner where the toe kick was going to be and cut that out with the jigsaw and then I started assembly. I wish I had some of those fancy clamps that hold all this together while you screw it but I use knees and butts and whatever I can. I'm going to use the J. Bates method of putting levelers on these cabinets. And that's just a cut down two by two, basically. You put one of these T-nuts in there and a carriage bolt will go in that. And you attach those to the bottom of the cabinet. And when the bolts go on the T-nut, it gives it a place for you to turn and level that cabinet out as you go. So I built the cabinets one at a time cleaned off the wall and put them in place. Then the task of leveling them. I did not realize when I started that my floor was as crooked as it was. So I'm glad I started at the end I did because that's the high end. And as I put this in, I wanted to level them together so that it was one straight, flat, level surface all the way across all the cabinets. And I had to worry about that gap in the middle because it had to be a specific size to hold the miter saw apart. Then I cut some pieces, built a shelf, put a front on it. And I had to do that at the right height so when the miter saw sat on there, it would be level with the countertops all the way across. I did the same thing with the radial arm saw. I built a shelf for it where it was gonna sit and it also had to sit at the right height. Now, I did a video previously, not too long ago, where I just put this new top on the radial arm saw, so I'm taking that back off again. Took it off the stand, put it in place, made sure it was lined up and attached it. And then I cut the tops. Well, Around the radial arm saw, I needed to cut a notch where the saw comes up through it. 
So I measured that out, cut the notch where it needed to be, and then attached the top. One thing I had forgotten to do was drill some pocket holes to attach the top. And I drilled more holes than I ended up using. Now for the fence, I ripped down four pieces of plywood and I laminated two together and then I laminated the other two together. I clamped them all at the same time. I just used some brown paper in between to keep them from sticking together. Got glue on my top. Now I have to sand it, which I did. Once the glue was dried on the fence parts, I cut them down to their width just to square them up and clean the edges up. And I put a chamfer on all the exterior edges and then sanded those and applied a coat of shellac. and then another coat of shellac. And I also did a couple of coats of shellac on the tops. This is mostly just for protection. But you see that chamfer there at the bottom front edge of the fence, that's so any sawdust won't keep your wood from sitting flush up against it. But it's one continuous fence all the way down. I can cut long boards on both the miter saw and the radial arm saw. So I can go long to the right, and I can go long to the left. I'm super happy with it so far. And again, this was the first phase Next phase is drawers all on the front of this thing. Thanks for watching.